<laughs> okay, so signal generator. So I need to make a antenna, uh, AM antenna that's tuned to 60 hertz. The reason for that will become clear. And um, I need a signal generator um, so I can figure out if my antenna is in tune. Um, so I bought this on eBay. Um, and it's fifteen a fifteen dollar kit, and uh, it's a function generator, signal generator called XR two two zero six. Um, so um, it comes as a kit. So this looks like the case, PCB, and a bunch of components. So let's get making stuff. So here it is, all assembled and, and working. I've connected the um, outputs to my oscilloscope. Um, it's uh, Currently I just plugged in a, a 12 volt uh, barrel jack power supply over here. You can see you have a jumper to select the frequency range and you can go between um, sine and triangle waves. Um, and it, it also has a, a square wave output. Um, this knob controls the amplitude, which is the, the height of the signal, and then you've got coarse and fine frequency tuning. So let me just zoom out a little bit so you can start, see this oscilloscope screen. So um, this is, um, so let me show you what happens when you change the amplitude. So you can see that the, the, the sine wave um, amplitude goes up and down. Um, Note that the peak to peak of the square wave is pretty much the input voltage that, that you, you, you apply. So that's close to 12 volts, but the sine wave is controlled by the amplitude. The same is true of this tri the triangle wave. So let me, that's what the triangle wave looks like. Um, uh, so you, you're actually controlling the amplitude of that wave, but not the square wave. Um, the, uh, uh, Frequency ranges also, they all overlap with each other just a little bit, which is awesome because um, that means there's no gaps and it will go from one hertz to one megahertz. Um, so let me just switch it to the megahertz range and uh, adjust the time base. So um, if I turn it all the way up, so this is, you know, uh, 112 kilohertz. Let's see if we can get it up to one megahertz. Um, now, what you'll notice is it actually goes above one megahertz. It's this is um, this is actually now managing 1.2 megahertz. But notice what happens to the square wave goes goes an interesting shape. Uh, sine wave is still pretty good though. Um, let's go back down to lower frequency. But yeah. Um, I'm pretty impressed for the price. Uh, this works well. Um, what I wanted, to, you know, the reason I bought this is because I actually want to tune it. Uh, I want to create a tuned um, antenna, and I need a 60 kilohertz tuned antenna. And um, it does work. I can get to around 60 kilohertz, and um, I can kind of, I, I can get very close to where I want it to be. Um, it does, it's not super uh, stable in terms of, um, I can't like dial in exactly 60.0 kilohertz. Um, it, it, and it, t it tends to jump around just a touch between uh, what I said. And this is, I'm actually adjusting here the fine tuning. And you see it just takes a little bit of time, uh, but you can get it pretty much where you want it to be. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And for the price, it's... Um, it's definitely good value and it, it does exactly what it says on the tin. So it's a little quiet, but this speaker is probably too big for doing this anyway. Can you hear that?